What this is really about is providing access to education for Oregonians, for people from the Portland region, and it's about economic development in the region. That's the purpose of Portland State, and the purpose of this education urban renewal area is to make it possible for Portland State to pursue that mission, that twin mission. In addition to this role of providing access to a lot of people, we, as I said, focus on economic development. We believe that to be competitive in a global economy, the metropolitan area needs to be more innovative, more creative, more entrepreneurial than any other. And we do that by having a highly educated population. As the mayor said in his earlier remarks, uh, one way that Oregon has really addressed that recently is by importing educated people from elsewhere. I suppose I'm one example of that. Um, but we think that it should be Oregonians and people from the Portland region themselves that have the opportunity to get the education that allows them to be productive and it then allows the region to attract the kind of businesses that offer high quality jobs. The governor talked about just at lunch today at the meeting of the Oregon Community Foundation that we got to learn to invest at the front end rather than fix the problems at the tail end. When, when Mayor Adams first introduced the proposal for a new urban renewal area uh, two, almost two years ago, I was skeptical when I first saw the proposal. And I expressed that skepticism. And I just would like to acknowledge the extent to which Mayor Adams and PDC responded to that skepticism and changed the nature of the proposal. On the one hand, the proposal we have before you today is less than half the size of the original proposal. Even more important, the proposal now is specifically targeted and focused on a priority that I think is absolutely important for the region, which is supporting Portland State in its need to become the great university we all need in this community, both meeting our educational as well as our economic development goals. Every URA goes through a different public participation process. They all have their own unique course. We believe that this one has, has has had extensive outreach and discussion involving a variety of different stakeholders uh, throughout the life of the conversation. The coalition of organizations and institutions that have come together around this district, obviously led by Portland State University, but the city and PDC um, have been heavily involved. But we do wanna recognize that the Portland Public Schools and Multnomah County in particular have been particularly supportive of this. They, they, their involvement has led to very constructive conversations about how the district does does benefit their, their missions as well as, as uh, the, the missions of the city as, and PSU. And then as the mayor mentioned, uh, uh, this district does build on the great work that's happening at OHSU and all the investments that the city has already made and other public partners have made in South Waterfront. So we do view this as, as, a, as a district that will, that will uh, have synergies with all the work that's happened on the OHSU campuses. The ultimate question is, are we prepared to make some critical investments, targeted investments in our community to, to grow family wage jobs, create prosperity, so that down the road, the pie is bigger for everybody? And are we willing to make those tough decisions today for a better tomorrow? That's what it comes down to. I respect the arguments on all sides of this, but I have concluded that on balance, this district and the formation of this district is in the best interest of the city as a whole. And so today I proudly cast my vote. Aye. This is a natural, uh, wonderful uh, partnership between the city and Portland State University that on a variety of levels uh, I am not only proud of, but uh, particularly proud uh, to have uh, been a part of on a number of levels. And I predict with the fruition of this uh, urban renewal area will be even greater in the future. So I, I tip my hat to you, and I, I wish I could do more than just a little guess, but, uh, but that's, uh, that's my role here today. I, I do applaud PSU and what, is endeavor, what you are endeavoring to accomplish as a regional state university. I believe you're already well on your way, if not there, in delivering what we need in that regard. My responsibility is to all the taxpayers of Portland to fund basic services in all 95 neighborhoods. And so while I appreciate both President Bell and Chair Andrews and indeed Mayor Adams for leadership on this proposal, I must respectfully vote no. I appreciate the comments that, you know, we can wait for the state government to figure itself out. And in the meantime, 
Uh, as PSU goes, so goes the city of Portland. We will molder, we will skate, uh, we will continue to uh, you know, glow in the, uh, in the positive national attention that we get right now, but unless we're moving forward, unless we're innovating, unless we're investing in uh, <clears throat> a better Portland constantly, then we're going to fall behind. These investments put real, uh, real effort behind the platitudes of education is important. Well, if it's so important, you have to invest in it. And you have to make, as Commissioner Leonard said, sometimes some controversial decisions. This is an important day, not just for Portland State University. It's a very important day for the future health of the city. Aye. It's done. Yeah.